I just spent the last 20 minutes moving uh, the old log and putting on, well, the new-ish log on my cookie cutting base. And I have almost cut my finger. I ripped my pants. <laughs> and I got it to here. <laughs> like my support in the back. <laughs> Hopefully, this will stay on there. Okay, I've been working on this uh, 3270. Um, I took the um, open carb, I guess is how you call this open carb. Well, it's a primer, primer carb. Um, it uh, will not prime from the tank to the carb. So I stuck a, um, a Walbro uh, SDC carb on it, which I really don't remember what that came off of. Um, I know it needs tuned, but I can't get to the um, to the jets to tune them because um, I don't want to cut a hole in the case just to get to that. Plus, uh, there's a deal working with this saw, and all I wanted to do was start it up and cut with it <laughs> and I modified the gas line to come out away from the the carb back around to the actual tube it goes into and I got out there a while ago and tried to run it it didn't run very good it died in the cut so that tells me there's something else wrong and my best guess is that the um, the carb needs to be tuned. And the way I have to run this thing is like right here. I have to push it back because of the rod. I don't want to bend the rod so much that I can't bend it back to the other carburetor. But this. Um, this carb actually runs really good on this saw. And I got a, um, a 272 stack with a filter. And it doesn't want to go on there very good. I don't know why. It never it never did. Even with the actual clamp, it wouldn't hold it on there. It would always vibrate off. Uh, that's the reason why I went to the... Um, the 61 filters, they're so much easier and you can get more of them for your your money. So, let's take it all back apart. Uh, the one thing it does, uh, it smells good. It doesn't smell like burnt oil. Like most of these older saws do, they do. They always smell like burnt oil. that take the uh, I 
can get it back off. There we go. Take the throttle off. It would it'd be so much easier if I had a hole in the case, but I don't want to drill a hole into the case. Okay, let's go half a turn. Okay, one. And then then go a quarter. Stick it all back together, yay! This is very time consuming. Plus have to put all the, the linkages into the right spot. On you. I'm guessing I'm going to have to do that first. Because that sucker does not want to go in there good. Yep. I like these big carburetors. They got some, uh, they're stout. I should say they're stout. Just little carbs. There we go. I'm gonna start it first. Yeah, I'm do the top one because it's easier. Anybody want a dog? You can, you, you can have him. That's got to be better than what it was. See this place right here? This is a, a different model that Pioneer had. It looked like the same case. I think it's the uh, uh, 1100 series. I think. Maybe wrong. But they have holes on this side, I think. But that carb goes on this side, and there's a place for it. Uh, right there, you drill a hole, and you put your screw in it, and it's supposed to hold the rubber grommet on this side, just like you do on this side. Uh, that would be um, that would be something to do if you were actually going to keep this saw and use it. As I take this little divider out, drill that out, and put you well, you don't even have to tap it really. Just put you a, a nice. Uh, like a, um, what is it called, fine thread um, bolt through there, and it would work perfectly. The only thing it would suck is that you couldn't do your idle. You'd have to uh, take this big bulky beast out right here and get you a longer screwdriver because the idle's way up here. And there's no way that's gonna reach that because it's right there. You'd have to have one about that long. Oh, let's try this again. Take two. Now this thing is super loud. I don't think I'll have to choke it, honestly. I got the air fruit of the steak. <laughs>
means that chain's dull as frig. Yeah, get some air to you here, buddy. Well, <laughs> so much for modifying it and making it run good, right? <laughs> well, this lovely jewel will be on its way to Tennessee. And the person that gets this, I hope they're happy with it because I thought that I would absolutely love this saw, and I don't. <laughs> uh, I like the P50 and the P60 better than this. I, I know they made this saw before that, um, before that series actually started. This was actually the the, the P50, uh, the P60 of the day. This thing's like 77 cc's or 72 or something like that. Um, but it's a good saw. It runs. It's strong. Uh, just got to keep messing with it until it runs right. Um, but the other carbons and the, uh, the primer setup and stuff like that, I'll put it back on um, and uh, go from there. It's, uh, it's a pretty nice saw, really. It's just, man, that thing vibrates the frig out of your hands. You'd have to put some cushion on them handlebars for sure. But until the next video, you guys have a lovely day.